Hi there, welcome to the first ever monologue a day. My name is Fran Winston and for some reason I have decided it would be a great idea to record a monologue every single day in 2021. Uh, I know it sounds like a massive undertaking, but as an actor, writer, producer, director whose work has been decimated by COVID, this just feels like a good way to keep my creative juices flowing while possibly entertaining one or two of you. So could be a win-win might not we'll see uh, anyway for today's piece i've picked a monologue from a play called the weir by the wonderful Connor mcpherson and this is a character called valerie i mean i'm a fairly straight down the line person working i had a good job in dcu my husband teaches engineering in dcu and i'd gone back to work after having our daughter neve we had Neve in 1988 and I went back to work when she was five, when she started school. And we'd leave her with Daniel's parents, my, my husband's parents, and his mother would pick her up after school and then I'd collect her after work. And last year she was dying to learn how to swim. And the school had a thing, they'd bring the class to the CRC in Kantar from Wednesdays and... She was learning really well, no problem, Love the water. Couldn't wait for Wednesdays and swimming. Daniel used to bring her to the pool on Saturdays and everything. But then in March last year, the school were having a, a sponsored swim. And I promised I'd be there to watch her, but I got, I was late getting out of work and I was only going to be there to meet her afterwards. And as I drove in, there was an ambulance and I just thought the pool is in the central remedial clinic so I just thought it was somebody being dropped off I really didn't think anything of it but when I got in to the pool there was no one in the water and one of the teachers was there and she was crying and some of the children were crying and this woman one of the other mothers came over to me and she said there'd been an accident and and Neve had been in the water and they'd been trying to revive her. But she said she was going to be OK. And I just didn't believe it was happening. I thought it must be somebody else. And I went into, um, I was brought into a room. And Neve was lying there on a table. It was, um, it was a table for table tennis. She was in her bathing suit and the ambulance man was giving her the kiss of life. But he said he didn't know if what he was doing was working and they wrapped her in a towel and put her in the back of the ambulance and I got in with her and they radioed ahead to Beaumont. They were going to put her on some machine, but the ambulance man knew. He just, he just knew, I think. And he said if I wanted to say goodbye to her in the ambulance in case there wasn't time at the hospital. I gave her a little kiss and a hug. And I told her I loved her very much. She just looked like she was sleeping. Her lips were blue and she was dead. 